Hey, good morning, YouTube. It is now, what is today? Thursday. Thursday, June 20th. So we, did, we, we ended up doing a reset, uh, which is fine. We got our 70 back, so we're going over to McDonough, 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 Georgia, 187 miles away. We're going to pick up a load, a Dollar General load, going to, going to South Boston, Virginia, and then we'll drop that off. Hopefully today, well, it, will, it won't be till the morning. Um, and then we gotta go down to Henderson, North Carolina to pick up tomorrow and drop a load off in Indian, in Greenfield, Indiana, which is right outside of Indianapolis. And that drops off on Monday, live unload at one o'clock. Now, and I was able to talk to the shop or email the shop and I don't have to have an appointment. I can just walk in. He only needs five minutes to look at the truck to confirm his estimate. And then, well, I need to be in Indy. So that's what this trip is all about this weekend. So once I drop off on Indy, or once I get the truck that looked at on Monday afternoon after the live load, I'll find another load and, and, and get one more for the week. So yeah, it's time to get back to work. Uh, get rolling, make some money, baby. Right now I gotta do this pre-chip and then we're off. Oh, real quick though, somebody, I don't get the information and the details, but somebody, um, Purchase something out of the shop. I don't want to say what it is. I don't want the false wrong person to claim what they purchased, but put in the comments. If you purchased something from my shop, let me know what you purchased. That way I know it's you and I can thank you personally. Thank you, whoever. That's the first order out of the shop. Pretty big, pretty big deal to me. So thank you so much. I appreciate it. Because you don't know that I brought the hats back. There's more things in the shop. The only thing I'm promoting. All the videos is the hats because I've had it for a few months now. It's a good quality hat, but it's twenty-one dollars, um, and it's and it's very affordable. So, want a hat? Support your boy. There's a tag one here somewhere uh, down below the screen, probably. Anyway, thank you, whoever purchased this product. I really appreciate it. it means a lot. Alright, so I've been at the shipper. I've been here since 11 o'clock, 10 minutes to 11. It's 12.25 right now. Um, I've already dropped the empty. I went to the office check in, dropped the empty in that door right there. Right there, that's what I brought in. My loaded trailer, preloaded trailers, right there beside of me. The dream pre-chip of that loaded trailer, that preloaded trailer. The damn landing gear handle's all stripped out. It fell off. Like, the, the rod is kind of still there, but the handle itself fell off. So I was looking through it, or looking at it, uh, through inspection in between the spokes. So the Schneider has the, uh, the ratchet, the ratchet handles. And this thing was just spinning. Um, on the rod, the whole ratcheting system in the handle part was just kind of spinning on the rod. So I looked through it and I saw the I saw a hole in the in the sprocket for what's supposed to be a, a weld or something there to hold it in place. That weld is gone. It's not a hole that goes through the through the uh, end of the pipe. Because I looked to see if there's a hole where I can maybe put a piece of wire or something there to hold it in space. But no, it's 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 a weld that had broke. So I've already called SCM, which is Schneider Emergency Maintenance, told them about it. Then I called my BOA and said, listen, you know, i got this issue now. I, I, who knows how long it's going to take, take them to get somebody out here because they're supposed to call me back. And it's been about 45 minutes since I spoke to SCM. So I don't know how long I'm going to be sitting here. This load is supposed to be delivered by the end of the day. 
It's only seven hours from where I'm at, so I could have made it. I should have been on the road by now. Um, but what? It's just not going my way, man. But I do want to, I think, one of you guys, one of you reached out to me uh, yesterday. Through KO, actually. Uh, I guess he was speaking with KO during text messages, and he said, hey, can you get me in contact with Country? And asked KO to for, give me give me his number. So KO did, and uh, I, I shot him a text. Say, hey, what's up, buddy? KO said you wanted to talk to me. So, um... And this was yesterday when I was still down, right? So this guy, he calls me and he pretty much cleared up some information or, or corrected some information that I thought I knew about a particular company. I wrote that company off because of the news I've been hearing. But he has kind of corrected my thoughts on that. The news is saying one thing, but they're not saying the whole thing. You know, when I say news, I'm talking about Mother Trucker News and reports around the webs and all that. So he's like, yeah, they're saying this, but they're not telling you this specifically, right? It's all about headlines in a quick way. So, and he was telling me how it was going and uh, the loads and all that stuff for him. And, and you know, I got another buddy who just kind of jumped in there. I'm going to wait on him too. But he opened my mind to an option that I completely wrote off. So you know who you are. I don't want to call you out or not call you out. I don't want to, you know, throw your name out there or anything like that. I mean, he just gave me some information that I didn't, that I was, I was, I was wrong with. So, I've definitely kind of threw that back in my mind. Thank you. Like I said, it's all about information. I'll, I, again, I'll make it, I'll make my best, my final decision, whatever I feel is best for me, of course. But, uh, that company is back in the loop of things. So, we shall see what, how it all works out. And, you know, now that I got this new spreadsheet worked out, and I added another section. I haven't uh, even showed that yet, but I will. Um, if we look at the the loads that I, I will talk about numbers later on. But anyway, right now I hope I'm hope I'm not here much longer because I just want to get this little trailer and get the hell out of here. Go to go to. Uh, but I gotta pick up um, a Walmart load tomorrow to take to. And I got all weekend to do it, but since I had the time, I was like, hell, I might just stop in Charleston Saturday and stay Saturday night, or even stay Saturday and Sunday, because from Charleston, it's only a couple hundred miles from uh, from delivery. So I might just stay there the weekend and just be, some, just be with people, you know? So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But for now, it's the waiting game for SCM to get back with me and let me know when they can have someone to get this trailer fixed. This is company equipment, not me. Although I do have an engine light on again. But it's super, it hasn't been on long enough for it to register in Snyder system or OC, so... I don't know. I, I, I don't know. This, this truck is... I will be at uh, a dealer Monday if the truck lasts that long. I'll be at the front line of the dealership on Monday when I do that hood. I'll say, hey, yo, I'll pick their brains about this problem, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, let's just wait and see what happens. Well, I thought it was going to be a simple, quick fix. He's been here. He got here like 15 minutes after they, after SCM called me. It said 90 minutes, so he was that like, close. He said he came, someone called so they couldn't get their roller door to go down. He walked in, pulled up, shut it. He's like, that's easy money, and he was, he was close. So anyway, he's here, but he's been here about... Uh, 30 minutes now. The problem was, or problem is, they, the, it's one, two, two parts, shaft and handle. Um, and there's a bolt that holds the shaft, or three parts actually. You got the, the little shaft that comes out, the gear, the gear mechanism that hooks to the trailer. You have the shaft of the handle that attaches to that with a bolt, and you have the crank handle that attaches to the shaft so you can turn it. Now, the problem is, um, He's replacing the entire handle with a solid with a solid handle instead of the ratchet handle. But where it connects from the the drive, the gear drive to the to the shaft, they so whoever did a repair job last time they welded that bolt in there. So now he's trying to get that out. And you know we've got to make a judge like what's the best lock tighten in human history? He knew the answer to that. It's rust, right? So. He's trying to get it out. 
he's working on his back here, so hopefully, I mean, it can never be simple when it comes to anything wrong with me. Never. Ever, 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 ever. I'll tell you, all my, my shit went downhill when that, when that daggone fender happened. That truck. Yeah, I did that. I have had nothing but bad luck since then with this truck and with equipment and just downtime and delays and try not to let myself get too down, but man, this is getting depressing. It really is. Chin up, baby. Chin up. The man has been here over an hour. He's been beating on that shit, beating and beating and beating. He just pulled out freaking gas lines. Yep, he's about to torch it. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. It's now two o'clock. I have been here since I went off duty to save my time, of course. I made the phone calls, put myself on maintenance breakdown, then went right off duty after that. Two hours and 21 minutes. Okay, he's been here about a little over an hour now. One little boat. One little boat. He's about to break some heat to it. That's about the only way you can break through rust is heat, right? I'm surprised he didn't try this earlier, but settling torch is now in hand. Alright, we are now the Charlotte OC. Hang on. Ah, it looks better. I had to wipe the lens off. We are now in the Charlotte OC. Because that trailer, after he got the handle fixed, I was there a total of about, I'll tell you exactly how long I was there. I was there a total of about, a total of two hours and 40 minutes. Before I went back on duty and did pre-trip and got the hell out of there. Stopped to get fuel on the way. And, um, there's a mud flat needs replaced and a, 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 a license plate light on the trail needs to be replaced. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll make it to Charlotte, have them do this in the expressway. I'll park, sleep here tonight, and get up and finish out my load tomorrow. I gave an ETA, actually, I gave an ETA at 11, but they gave me an open window to five to pick it up or to drop it off. So I'll have plenty of time to drop it off, go get my next load, and, and head up north. And I have a check engine light on again, but you know what? Nobody, nobody's seen any codes, but it's acting like it did last time. Sort of a hesitation, like you have water in your fuel. With the trainee, sometimes it shifts hard. You can feel it hard, or or acts like it's slipping to get in the gear. It's just this truck, man. I don't know. I, I don't know. It's aggravating, is what it is. So. Anyway, I'm in this fresh line here at Charlotte. Well, some, he said he'll send someone out here to get those two things done. I just went off duty for my 10-hour break, which means I'll be clock crawling all the way around this lot. Um, so I don't reset my clock. I only have a, I only have 29 minutes left of my 14-hour clock. Uh, I'm going to be sitting here longer than 30 minutes, I'm sure. So Anyway, that's all for today. It's been kind of an aggravating day. I got a request from KO that I got to look into to see if I can make it happen. And, uh, and I gotta wait for this stuff to be, to be done with. So anyhow, thanks so much for watching, guys. I appreciate all the support. We'll see you tomorrow.